Everyone had been talking about it for a while, and everyone we knew was heading to the same place. We figured it was going to be a madhouse, and we didn't want to get caught up in that. So Allie, her younger sister Amber, and I headed north on a golden morning to a place off the beaten path to see this big shebang for ourselves. It seemed like every living person was heading north, and at the gas stations and the pole lofts, you heard people talking about it and saw the funny glasses, and the day felt like an old movie. Funny of you to say. And we found a hike without many cars in the lot and yeah, headed in. The eclipse was just starting when we set up our base, and these video clips will never quite capture what it felt like to watch the light die down in odd shadows during midday and create a moment that felt supernatural. The magic only lasted a few minutes. An owl hooted and a morning dove cooed. And then it was as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> oh, I wish that could have lasted longer. <laughs> and it was shortly after while there was still a tiny bit of snow left, that Allie and I saw the first signs of spring on one of our daily hikes. Are you your dad? waking up, and with the sunshine on the books, it wouldn't be long until the flowers were blooming. Yeah. Aren't these junipers? Do you remember this? Shed's coming along. Still got to get the rest of the stuff out of my other shed, but already feels way nicer to have all the tools in one place. I've just found it to be key to productivity, to starting a project, to finishing a project. You got to be organized. I want to make this a nice shed. I'm going to redo it. It's not a huge priority. I mean, we've got to build our garden. That's going to take a bunch of time. We really want to build a chicken coop and get some chicks here. It's crazy. On a day like this, it's so beautiful out. Your mind just, you look around at a property like this, your mind starts spinning. I spent a lot of the winter just wandering around, looking at things, trying to figure out order of operations and all that. And I've got a ton of plans. And on a day like this, the sun just gives you energy. I just feel excited and and, uh, ready to take some of this stuff on. Here's the start of my first real workshop mini workshop and this is what it currently looks like it's got this little wall in between and it's full of uh stuff that isn't very well organized got a bunch of stuff back in here 
There's a low ceiling. I know there's a bunch of mice up there, but gotta get all this stuff out. Well, I've got to add uh, coolant to the mini here, and it's very hard to reach the filling point. I don't have a long, skinny funnel. The only thing I could find in my little shed is this 1800s uh, ink, ink, uh, what do you even call this? <laughs> it works perfectly. <laughs> So now that it was starting to dry up, I could deal with some of the projects that had been looming, such as getting this driveway and parking areas ready for repairs, which meant moving and organizing the wood that I harvested over the winter. After a very strange, wet, and dismal winter, these warm days are renewing for the body, for the mind, to feel the sunshine on the skin, to see the earth start to dry out. Now that we've been having more of these warm sunshine days, I've made a point to try and make the most of them by getting up early and I've had my faithful companion by my side, Beam Dream Powder, and they're the sponsor of this video. Dream Powder is a luxurious nighttime drink that tastes delicious, helps you fall asleep fast, and stay asleep through the night. I've been incorporating Beam into my routine since last August, and it's never failed me. And one of the things that really makes Dream unique is that you wake up with zero grogginess. And that's essential if you're trying to get up early and make the most of the day. For years and years, ever since I started my business, I would have these patches of time where I just couldn't fall asleep and it would greatly affect my productivity and not just that but just your overall well-being and I've used a lot of different sleep aids but nothing works as well as beam because beam is formulated with multiple different ingredients and each one supports a different stage of the sleep cycle and even though it's delicious and tastes like hot chocolate it's got zero sugar and only about 15 calories. And I know plenty of you watching this have had sleep problems. It's a very common issue. You gotta give Beam a shot. And this isn't just some marketing gimmick. Beam's Dream Powder is clinically shown to improve sleep. So click the link below or scan the QR code and use code Trout and Coffee to get up to 35% off. So thank you to Beam for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support this channel. And now back to the story. To 
to accompany my writing journey, I got myself an electric typewriter, which is for stage two, after I write longhand. I'll edit once with the typewriter before ever turning the words to digital. And for my 32nd birthday, Ali got me some wonderful grains. This man almost got blown off the railing. He really did. We saw our first trout lilies on our daily walk. I have definitely fished today. I love little streams like this that cut through the... The earth was waking up slowly but surely, and we were enjoying the views of the stick season while we could, before the big green bloom. <laughs> Holy smokes! I <laughs> and on one Sunday, we took the bikes to the sugar shack for some beans, eggs, and pancakes. <laughs> now, <laughs> show. continued on with readying my new home office for renovations, where we discovered some serious rot in one of the walls.
after my birthday dinner with my parents, we met my mom's new puppy named Lucy. Jeez, she's so cute. And this, oh! <laughs> Everyone's here. Oh, Lucy! Lucy! It's Lucy! And with sunny days on the horizon, it was back to work preparing our property for change. Thank you. 
lot of mud. But look at like once I get this pine tree out of here, all this crap rep really, then I can just keep doing this over and over again and just push it, keep pushing it all the way back, get down and you can see where it's hard and dry. Like down here, get down to all this stuff, get all the topsoil out. That's so sad. What's just going on? It just keeps blowing the starter fuse. Good, we need this thing right now. <sighs> well, my poor little mini is just blowing a fuse every time I try and start it. It did this before and I had to replace the thermostat. And it's definitely running hot. I'm not sure what exactly is causing it, but this is not a good time for that machine to be down. We've got so much work coming up and I was really counting on that machine. I gotta dig drainage ditches down the entire driveway and just moving the rest of this wood and everything. That's a big hit, because who knows how long it's gonna take to get fixed. <clears throat> Man, such a bummer. But it did so much work today. I'm so proud of that little thing. It lifts logs like you wouldn't believe. And we moved a lot of the wood. We've got a nice organized little area. Not that much left. Another half day's worth of work to move them. Then we'll have them all organized in one spot. And then I can get all this mud out, chop up this dead pine, set that aside for campfire wood or whatever, and start to push all this material back here. And I wanna level this out and put a nice pole barn right here for all my machines. And then this whole area will just be the utility area. Thirty. We need another bowl full. And after a good stretch of warm days, we headed to the valley to see the progress of spring. Thank you. 
Whoa! And so we rode through the beautiful beginnings of spring, observing the first trout lily flowers, the first periwinkles, and all the other details that make spring such a special time in New England. I'm going swimming. I mean, it is nuts. It is nuts. Of all the seasons, it seems like spring gets the least amount of credit. And I like that, because it feels more like a mystery and a secret. Millions of people flock to New England every year for the fall, but in the spring, it seems like you have it all to yourself. This is about to be treacherous. Oh, we don't have to go that way. <laughs> oh, the paddle. 